Alright, so this is um, a bit of a different uh, video than I usually make. Um, I'm making um, pretty much a tutorial of how to like connect to the Beacon uh, Little Big Planet servers through our PCS3 because a lot of tutorials I've seen uh, kind of just don't exist. <laughs> and the um, I feel like the article on like the Beacon page can be a little bit confusing, especially to people who aren't like... Um, I mean, this is just coming from someone who spent like six hours trying to connect and ended up getting lost through the process, so um, I'll go ahead and jump into it. So um, this is assuming you already have a copy of Little Big Planet installed on RPCS3, um, as well as that having it fully updated and on a version of RPCS3 that isn't 4.90. Um, um, if it's beyond that version, it may not work. So. Um, starting off, um, so one of the prep steps is obviously um, Little Big Planet 2 is what I'm going to be using for this. You want to have this already installed. I'm using the special edition, which is um, BCUS 98372, uh, serial number. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go over to leave. All right, so under configuration, you'll have an option that says RPCN. So this is the um, pretty much the like online like functionality of RPCS3. Um, what you'll do is you'll click account. If you don't have an account, you'll create one. It's pretty straightforward. You'll like set up a username, a password. Make sure the username is definitely what you want it to be because it can be kind of difficult to get that change or it just won't work all together. And get that set up. It'll send a thing to your email uh, that you have set up and you'll just input that in here as well. It's like a token, I believe is what it's called, or a key. You'll put that in, verify it, um, and there will be an option that says test. Um, I believe I can t do that right now. So once you have everything set up, you can click test account. Yeah, your account is valid. So. Um, that's an easy step. You want to make sure that's um, set up um, under your little big planet settings as well. Um, under a custom configuration, because little big planet is finicky, um, you'll just want to go under network and make sure it says 8.8.8, .8 which is the default. Um, I've seen some guides say 0 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 um, in my experience, it has not worked if I did that, so I do not recommend doing that. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and close out of this. Um, so our first step, um, like I said, Little Big Planet fully updated. RPCS3 has a firmware below 4.90. We will go to. Just gotta check a couple settings here. Yeah. All right. So under utilities, we're going to go to decrypt PS3 binaries. Now when we click on um, decrypt PS3 binaries, you're wanting to go to the folder that you have RPCS3 installed in. And once you're in the folder that RPCS3 is installed in, you'll have all these options like dev HDD 0, 1, USB, all that. You want to navigate under here, game, and then you'll want to go to the serial number of the little big planet game you're wanting to patch. You'll click on this, USRDIR, and you'll want to click on eboot.bin. So um, just going through that one more time, it'll be under utilities, decrypt PS3 binaries, eboot.bin. So PS3, here, game, or two, USDR eboot.bin. So now that we're here, you want to click on that eboot.bin and you want to click open. So you'll see down here that it decrypted the bin file into an ELF file. So we'll put a PCS63 or whatever to the side and we will um, now navigate over to an internet browser. Oh, there's my YouTube channel. To this article here, I'll have it linked in the description. Um, it's pretty much the article explaining how, but it's going over a bunch of things that 
really unless you're doing not doing this on PCS3 it's going to be really confusing what you're going to want is under here patching your LBP eboot um, right here the latest version of Union Patcher you'll go to github you'll go to the Windows 64 you'll download that once you have this tool which I already have it installed uh, you'll extract it um, into a folder open this up you're going to scroll down to the tool that says unionpatcher.gui.windows open this and as you can see here it opened up a little cmd prompt we'll put that behind me okay never mind what happened okay we'll pretend that didn't happen so we'll go ahead and click on here where it says file patch and it'll bring up this little window here so eboot.elf if you remember just find here yep so it will be under that ps3 game little big planet serial and right here here's your eboot elf file that you did by decrypting it from pcs3 we'll open that and we're going to do the same thing here except on the second one we're going to put eboot now this isn't case sensitive you can name this whatever you want um, most people just call it eboot.lighthouse not lighthouse eboot.lighthouse because it's you know lighthouse and we are going to save it and so we have our file names now for the server url we're going to go back to that article from earlier and right here under step 10 paste the server url of your choice we're going to highlight this copy it we want to go back to union patcher control v and we're going to after we got all of that we're going to patch and there we go it's all patched and once that is done i'm going to go ahead and close these tabs okay we're just going to close we want to go back to yeah we can go ahead and close out of this we're done with union patcher so we can close out of that and we're going to go to ps3 we want to go back to that folder just to make sure everything did do what it was supposed to okay and now you should have an eboot.bin eboot and eboot.lighthouse so now that you are for sure that eboot.lighthouse is here we want to close this and now we're going to go to rpcs3 so now you don't want to boot up um, the game normally if you're wishing to connect to the private servers you're going to want to go to file boot self slash elf open that and from here you want to click that elf file and i just double click it and now i'm going to go ahead and grab my controller please connect to bluetooth there we go it's going to build our spu cache pretty much getting everything set up it's going to compile ppu modules now to know if you did everything correct we're going to get through this warning screen it's going to say connecting to little big plant 2 online and this is what you're looking out for if you got this announcement screen then you did everything correct if you didn't get the announcement screen then unfortunately something went wrong with the process and you'll just have to troubleshoot and maybe that um, the game wasn't updated correctly or you didn't get all the updates it's the wrong firmware um, maybe the elf file it wasn't decompiled right on something could have happened wrong but if you got this announcement screen and you're all good and you're going to want to head and click ok it's going to connect to a little big planet online and reminder you do have to play through the first worlds um, to get online functionality oh okay i got bad rng the game crashed uh, right when i opened it file lighthouse and just a fair warning, um, that may happen the first time you open it. 
uh, on Lighthouse, it could crash just because it's still trying to get like um, everything compiled correctly and just getting things working right. And it's our PCS3 crashes do happen on Little Big Planet. So we'll go ahead, go through here. Announcements. And I'll go ahead and put this on full screen. And there we go, we're in game. So now all this should be opened up for you, community. And I'll go ahead and close out of that. So this is something that isn't very clear, but as soon as you get into the game, if you're wanting to like have your account like like custom um, profile pictures and stuff like that, what you're wanting to do is you're gonna go to the text chat. You're gonna want to put the command slash set email. Then you're going to put a space after that, and then you'll put your email address. And then, of course, like, um, we'll just do da 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 at whatever.com. Anyways, um, I'm not going to put this through because my email has already been set up. But you'll do set email, um, your email address. Go ahead, close that out. Yeah, slash set email, your email address. Once you put that through, you'll get an email um, that will give you a link to set up your account. And once your account is set up and you got a password set up, it'll link you to a website where you can like customize some of your stuff on your profile and all that. And you'll want to make sure that, well I should do it automatically actually. Um, it'll link everything through automatically and yeah. Um, once you do all that, you should be all set to play. Just make sure that um, when you do boot up the game, you are doing the file boot SELF. And yeah, that's how you get connected to LittleBigPlanet online servers through our PCS3, and I really hope this helped you.